Hello friends, welcome back to my corner. We are now in part two of this playthrough of Saddle Up with Pippa Funnel. I think we're supposed to be going to town, so I'm gonna mount. Right, I've got to find that village again. I think it's still straight ahead. You think? I mean, I don't think the town moved, but that's all right. Here we go. Hey, you don't really intend to come into the village on horseback, do you? Oh, sorry. It's okay. No harm done. Position what if I do? Directly opposite the chain. An indicator will appear. All you have to do is press the space bar. Your nag will wait for you nice and quietly under the covered playground. I'm struggling. Okay, I'll here we go. Back very soon, my lovely. Oh yeah, I'm getting my luggage at the post office slash uh, grocery store, which is very strange. Okay, I can't ride my horse into into the town, but this guy can just park in front of <laughs> on the sidewalk. That is so. That's interesting. Okay, continuing on. Hey, what's up, guy? You all right? Excuse me, I'm looking for the post office. Well, I'm not surprised you can't find it. There's no post office. <laughs> it's Molly Catchpole, the grocer who deals with the post. Thanks. Okay. Again, it seems like everyone in this game is just quite enjoyable to be around. All right. Sup, Rose? What you doing here? How'd, how'd you get here? to the post office to pick up my things. Molly, the grocer, takes care of the post. In the grocer's shop? It's really modern around here. It's really well, modern. It's a small place, you know. There isn't even a school. Isn't that illegal? Shouldn't you be... Well, whatever. I'm not gonna dig into that. Alright. Here we go. Continuing on. There's my package. Can I just take it or do I have to talk to her? Okay, it's fine. Hello. Hello. There should be a parcel for me here. I'm moving into Grange Meadows. Oh, yes. Well, that could be quite a change for you. Appleton's a quiet little place. Have you lived here long? My parents used to run the grocer's shop to give you some idea. In the past, the children took over their parents' businesses. But those days are over. There's no future anymore. There's Appleton. no future. My son went off to work in town. And the upshot is, I never see my grandchildren. It's a pity the young ones don't hang around. It's a pretty place. I'm not saying it isn't, but even if it was the prettiest place in the world, when there's no work, there's no work. But then there's always that promoter with his development project. Mr. Blacklock, a charming fellow, I should have. If I'm not mistaken, I think I that's the antagonist. Away, don't forget your things. I put them there, just on the side. Yeah, I kicked them to the curb. Get out of our town. No, I'm just kidding. Right. If need be, just remember... This isn't just a post office here. I'm also running a grocer's shop. To go into the shop, position yourself opposite the shop window behind me and press the space bar. What's a nice little little sound effect there? What do you have for sale? Choose the item you want to buy with the arrow keys and click on the buy button. But take care. You thanks. In any case, Okay, it looks like it's just different, um, different feed, which I'm not too keen on buying that quite yet. I will buy the brushes. Maybe that might do something. <laughs> For next time, I have to groom the <laughs> silly horse I have there. Okay. Popularity when seven. Are you coming back? Dude! I was only out for like 10 minutes. What is your problem? This guy is a jerk. I don't understand why I can't just be like, okay, get off the farm, please. Okay, uh, I'm assuming now I'm going back to the house. So I literally just came up here just to get that, uh, which is fine.
Okay, continuing on. Whew. Let me go ahead and save again. Okay. This is as fast as I go while that little meter goes down. Okay, Davey, what do you want, man? Already being a thorn in my side, we're only like 10 minutes in. What's up? What do you want? Hi, if you picked up your things, give them to me, and I'll put them into the wardrobe in your room. Thanks, but I reckon I can cope with my things on my own. As you wish, but this way you'd be able to get changed. Goodness me, it must be love. What? <laughs> that came out of blue- out of- the blue. Also, how do you assume he loves you when he, like, just met you and then has been nothing but a jerk to you since you got here? Where did that come from? That that was... Okay. Let's just continue on. Let's just continue on. It's fine. I'll get out of this, uh... Hello, Miss Beaumont. It's Mr. Scrivener. Dude. Online. Would you fancy meeting up at my office? Okay, I'll be right over. Just give me time to put my things away in my new room. You literally couldn't have asked me into your office while I was up there. That's cool. That's fine. Right. Now let's sort things out. I really do have a lot of things. Let's see if everything will fit into this wardrobe. That one little box, to Amazon put away box. Your things, position yourself in front of the big wardrobe. A red indicator will appear. Then open your inventory by pressing I. And lastly, use the parcel. Okay. I can observe. Oh, I can't. Never mind. There we go. Now I can open it. Fortunately, it's a king size wardrobe. Right. Let's see how this works. I guess that by using the arrows, I can change my outfit. I guess. And I can go back into the room by using the return button at the bottom left. Okay. Um, that's going way too fast for me to lie. <laughs> okay, well, I'll at least get out of this jersey. I don't know why it's going so fast. So that's very strange. I have a lot of things, yet it's only like four shirts. Three shirts. It's three- it's three shirts! <laughs> Guess I'll be in the blue long sleeve shirt. What jeans you got? Blue jeans. I like those. Let's see what shoes. I like blue. Let's do all blue. What hairstyles you got? Oh, even more of a Karen. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Uh, well, here's where all the designing stuff went. I'll have purple hair. Too bad they don't have green hair. That would have been perfect. Yeah, I'll have purple. Beautiful. Supreme. Supreme. All right. Continuing on. Sorry to disturb you, but you're taking a rather long time coming, <laughs> and I'm afraid I do have other appointments. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be there right away. Why are all the people in this town, <laughs> including myself? So, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. I just don't understand why you didn't talk to me while I was I was there, but okay. Okay, Agatha, let's go, man. Are you dirty? You're not dirty. Cool. Because if I have to do that again. Okay. This feels like one of those moments when you, uh... You go to a store for a specific reason, you buy everything else on the list, you get all the way home, and um, you realize you didn't buy the thing that you originally went to the store for. That's kind of what this feels like right now. <laughs> okay, here we are.
Okay, back to where I was. Very much uh, back and forth in these uh, first few chapters of the game. Oh man, she runs so slow. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah, oh, there you are. My, you do look ravishing. Um, that's a bit much, dude. As I've already said, the inheritance is dependent on objectives to fulfill. Your successes will be rewarded by improvements in the stud farm. Improvements? Yes. You may choose to renovate a particular building or build a training course, for example. And since you've proved your ability, I'd like to offer you the first improvements. Position yourself in front of my computer and, and activate it with the space bar. Oh, there we are. I suggest you build a show jumping course or a cross country course. Click on the arrows to choose, then validate. I think those are the only two available, yeah. Okay, we'll start with this one. Mm, I choose the cross country course. <laughs> You'll be able to use your new course in two weeks time. A few weeks went quietly by. A new test awaits you. Take one of your horses. Oh crap, do I already have to groom them again? Good luck. Okay. A few weeks just quietly went by, huh? I feel like a few weeks... A lot happens in a few weeks, but that's cool. Alright, please tell me you're still clean. I don't want to do that again. Please don't make me do this again. I don't want to do this again. Okay, cool. Good, good. All right. What? Let the solicitor explain. Okay, then meet me at the course. It isn't hard to find. You take the first on the right as you leave the stud farm. First right. Actually, I'm going to save again. Love how fast that horse stopped there. That was pretty funny. Okay. Here's the cross country course. You must follow the path and jump the obstacles in order by pressing on the space bar. But watch out, you must choose the right gate. Your horse will jump high if you trot or canter, and it'll jump far if you're at a gallop or a full gallop. On the jump icon at the top of the screen, the obstacles are represented by squares. Before jumping, you can check if the jump is good if the obstacle is clearly in the horse's jumping curve. If this is the case, the icon turns green. If not, the horse refuses to jump. Okay. Bravo! You finished the test. Ah, <sighs> good. Mr. Scrivener. We finished the course. Hello, Davy. How did she cope? Pretty well, on the whole. That's good news. You'll be able to build a new course using my computer. That's the only option. Okay. Which is the show jumping course. I need to get into training. Your course will be finished in a fortnight. <laughs> Another few weeks. Hello, Mr. Scrivener. Hello, young lady. You now have to successfully complete the new course. Davy will evaluate your results. You can go straight to the course with one of your horses. My only horse. That's a mare. Doesn't make any sense. It's fine. I 
just running into the wall. Hi, I'll wait for you at the show jumping course. Take the first on the left on leaving the stud farm. See ya. Where is the end? Where is this? <laughs> oh, finally. You just have to complain about it. <laughs> Alright. The sign's glitching out. That's fine. Spacebar at the right moment. On the jump icon at the top of the screen, the obstacles are represented by square. Didn't you already say the same thing? Come along, old girl. We'll make it. Okay, I'll try again. It's child's play. Well, apparently I'm not doing very well. Well played, my beauty. <laughs> so what do you say? I'm doing pretty well, aren't I? That was excellent. Phew, I wasn't in top form. Luckily, I had a good horse. <laughs> to reward your successes, it gives me great pleasure oh, no. to offer you a horse. Now, don't worry about anything. I'll have it taken to the stud farm. You'll find it in your stable when you get back. Is there a vet in the village? With several horses, it's getting urgent. Several. When you've accumulated enough success, you can call out Keith Burgess. At the moment, he's on his rounds. He has a very good reputation. Following the instructions of your great aunt Patricia, I have to organize a mini competition, which you must win, of course. What do I have to do? Well, you'll have to complete the following in order, and with only one horse. A dressage course, a cross-country course, and a show jump. But I'm sure you're capable of that. Oh, well, we're just- we're just in here, okay. <laughs> the first competition organized on your own land. You'll have to succeed in the three dressage, cross-country, and show jumping events with the same mount. I hope to be an honor to the family. You're a good rider. You'll be okay. Apparently, it's a fairly traditional okay. massage event, which shouldn't present you with any problems if you master the basic figures. For each successfully completed figure, your score will be added to the overall score at the bottom right. Okay. Let's get to it then. There's nobody there, but okay. Those figures were remarkable. Let's move on straight away to the cross-country event. Are you ready? We're going to start with the cross-country event. Every time you clear an obstacle, points will be added to your overall score. Obviously enough, time is also a key factor. If you commit faults, points will be deducted. Good luck. Just love the very loud applause when no one's there. Let's see what stuff you're made of on this show jumping course. You know that 
show jumping was your great aunt's speciality. I hope you take after her. Oh, well, apparently not. It's the traditional point system. Each obstacle you jump over wins you points. Okay. Your faults will be penalized, as will your time. <laughs> What's she? Let's see your ranking in the general competition. Oh no! <laughs> I still got first overall. That's fine. I'm speechless. You were got brilliant second. from beginning to end. Well, How thank you. At last, we'll be able to validate part of the inheritance. That's excellent news. Come over here. Just saunter on. Swagger on over there. Thanks to this victory, you've won a new I have three now? <laughs> okay. You can also choose new items. Patricia would have been proud of you. So, you've got a choice between renovating your second stable, fencing in the meadow, or having your garage renovated. Um... I guess a fence. Congratulations. The new item I need a groom, because I know soon Davy's gonna be like, you didn't wash your horses. You were away a long time. Yeah. So Which is not fair because but now it's up to you to the, you saw the game did not give me so, a chance to do that. Okay. What do you want? Hey, you were <laughs> terrific in the competition. Patricia gave me. It's too big for me, and anyway, jewelry's not exactly my thing. He took a hundred dollars for washing my horses. Rose. I don't know what to okay. say. Okay. It's very beautiful. That's a load. Thanks. I'll keep it in my inventory. I'll be able to find it again easily when I need it. It's funny. She never wore it, but she was very fond of it. It's called an amethyst, I think. Whoops! I nearly forgot. Mr. Scrivener's waiting for you. He's in the this room. guy will not leave me alone. I mean, I would have groomed them. It just, the game did not give me any sort of chances to go back to my house and do it, so. Are they all clean? Alright, I guess that's what you look like. Oh, the meadow's fenced in. You can take the horses out by clicking on the into the meadow icon. Of course you're dirty. I got a white horse. Okay. So you charge me for cleaning my horses, yet only one of them was clean. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm gonna save. Why don't, actually, why don't we name these guys? Uh, what are you? Uh, how about you be... How about you be Zane? Are you a male or female? I don't... Oh. Another mare! I'm, I thought it, this was a stud farm. Um, how about Zarya? Sure. Let's go with that. Enter. Okay, we'll come back to you, and then... Let's name this guy. How about we do... How about you be the Lionel? Sure. Because that's the most important thing in this game, is naming the, naming the animals. I'm gonna save. Alright, we're gonna test uh, grooming them again. Let's see how it goes. Did you get more? You did, okay. I promise this will be important later. I'm gonna try this first because this is the part that makes me scared. Maybe some new brushes might help this. Oh no, is this going to be a problem for every single time? <sighs> of course it is. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? A problem every single time. Okay. That's cool. Well, this has probably been a long enough video anyway, so Thank you everyone so much for tuning into my corner and I will see you all in the next video.